Hey, what's up? It's Kit. Time for another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the surf fishing rigs I use when I go fishing. This, These are pretty much uh, the same rig that I use over and over again. Uh, I don't really deviate from these types. And um, yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to do them. There's two types that we are going to do today. And I will show you exactly what kind of materials you need to put these together now word of note is that the sinkers that we use may be slightly different from the ones that are available in the states as you can see here there's a there's a small hook just on top of the lead okay just below the tie off point now these i made myself i have molds for these comparing them to what's readily available it's either a swivel or just a, a loop of wire you can see but this one has a hook now um, they come in different shapes of course this one's a pyramid the other one's a cone this one's a cone as well this one is uh well it has spikes that dig into the sand but as you can see there's also a hook there that's very very important uh the other type is with this little contraption here it is called a uh, impact shield okay there's different types of impact shields but uh, this is the normal one that we're using right now so um, yeah i'm going to show you exactly how i'm rigging them we don't have access to a boat now the uh, we're in between boats put it that way so there's a lot of beach fishing for me and just to keep the monotony down instead of just actually shore jigging most times especially in the evening uh, we use this now um the reason why you want this is uh, as you can see here you actually hook your hook or clip your hook onto the sinker and then as soon as the sinker hits the water the hooks get released as, as you can see there same thing with this one and uh very very useful a big thing here is that you have to imagine that while the bait is actually especially if it's a wind resistant bait when it's clipped down it travels on the slipstream of the sinker and it flies straight now on this other sinker without a hook uh, okay, I'm, I'm actually going to get a uh, pyramid sinker, which you find readily in the U.S. And then I'll show you. There there we go. So this one doesn't have a hook. And it, it becomes kind of difficult when you're actually putting um, the, uh, the bait. It flops around and everything. But I'll show you a fix. Okay, so I'll show you a fix on how to actually do the same thing that we're doing done uh, at the end of the video i'm going to show you how to use it's just a clip okay so i'm going to show you exactly how to make the clip very very easy but now i'm going to show you exactly how i make these rigs they're actually quite simple okay so as an example we'll we'll use the uh cone sinker here it's not a pyramid it's actually a cone sinker but as you can see here um yeah if you have your bait and it's bulky it travels in the slipstream, as mentioned earlier, travels in the sl slipstream of the sinker, making everything very aerodynamic. Uh, it could be a very wind resistant bait. Again, as soon as it hits the water, the water tension actually releases the hook. So it, it makes it very, very convenient, especially when you're fishing long distances. Now, we're gonna be using red line for this, okay? And uh, 40 pounds and we'll be using a clip because it makes it easier for us to actually switch the uh, sinkers okay so first tie on the knot as you can see here it's just an ordinary uni knot this is the first step 
I uh, I do for this. Uh, there, of course, you could do it uh, in different orders, up to you. But the premise stays the same. But I usually tie on the clip first. Okay, so uh, tighten everything down. And then we cut the tag. I always leave uh, a bit of a tag there. Okay, so uh, my measurements for this are, is usually just uh, my arm span. Okay, you could make them shorter, you could make them longer. It's really up to you. But for me, my usual measurement for this is one arm span. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a rig I'm, I'm probably going to be using tonight or uh, tomorrow. Depends um, if uh, there's more pressing important things. Of course, I'm going to be doing them and uh, not fishing. We usually fish for the whole night. So Okay, so you have your clip there. Okay, go to the very end. And now we need two beads. Okay. Uh, I'm using plastic beads here. There doesn't matter the color, really. I choose pearl here. You just think that, well, it's what I have available, really. Okay. Um, there's a what we call a pulley swivel. And this is what I'm using here. It's nothing but a swivel with a plastic insert. And then you put your line through there. like so okay now um, remember there's a bead and then this the the pulley swivel and then you put another bead and then you put a swivel at the very end I'm gonna show you a finished rig here just for your reference Okay, so uni knot, very easy, straightforward. You could use any knot you want. I just use a uni knot. I like making these things way ahead of time so that when I'm at the fishing spot, if I need the rig, you know, I just have it there. Okay, so tighten that up. Make sure the knot is uh, tied correctly. Tighten everything up, snug. There we go. Then we cut the tag. That's your finished rig, really. Um, quite simple, as you can see. Uh, I keep them as simple as possible. And you have your sinker end right here. That's the clip that would hold your sinker. And you have your swivel, which holds your hook length. Okay, and this is the slidey bit here is what makes it uh, the pulley. But yeah, that's the, your leader end would be here. Okay, so, uh, We'll put a sinker on so that you'd see how it looks like okay it's just to make things easier there's a there's a clip there just to make things easier all right so like take for example that's your your hook right there okay um you could make your leaders long short whatever and then put your hook onto the clip the bait clip of the sinker and then it folds down like that okay when it hits the water, it releases your hook, and that's it. So your your bait can can either uh, float around, and it just slides. Now the most important thing here is uh, that when you actually have a fish on, as you can see here, the sinker goes up, and it keeps the sinker from snagging and which is honestly quite a big problem because when you're fishing especially around rocky areas your sinker tends to get snagged more than your hook especially with the fish on 
so that's what we want to do now i'm going to actually show you how everything looks like with the hook okay so um we'll find a uh leader material here actually you know what i'm i'm i'm, I'm gonna make the whole thing visible here just so you see okay and then um probably would make more sense it's just a bit more visible on camera so we will uh, look for some bright monofilament line and then we'll uh, put a leader on that way at least you get to see everything now if uh, actually when I go fishing I'm gonna show you this and then um, link to this particular video so you can see all right so we have some yellow line okay get a hook here so that you can see tie the hook off and then after that uh yeah uh, show you exactly how the whole rig looks like that way be able to by the way uh yeah you'd be able to do to uh really see how things look like now um i'm putting on a short leader here again you need not up to you what knot you want to use use your favorite knot what you're confident with but i'm tying a uni knot here this is a relatively short leader but you could actually adjust the length of your leader according to your preference uh, of course we're using yellow line but you could use again you could use clear line fluorocarbon or whatever line you want you can even put a uh, float on your leader to lift the bait up on the bottom uh, for the sake of this demonstration we're just gonna keep it short a leader so that you'd be able to see how everything looks like now again when we're fishing i'm going to show you this exactly how everything is set up and then you can actually see how things work especially the casting bit because it's pretty cool um not too sure if there's a lot of uh americans using this but i encourage you guys to actually use it because it's uh quite useful all right so there's your sinker, there's your clip, put your hook there, as you can see, boom, very aerodynamic, right? So you have there, it travels through the air like that, uh, just a bit of separation in color so you can see how the thing looks like. Your main line goes to that end right there, okay? Now, as soon as it hits the water, boom, you can see it release and then your bait floats around until a fish grabs it okay and uh yeah it's quite simple quite effective um uh, very easy to make very cool rig i think one of the first uh rigs that actually blew my mind when i discovered so the the snap is there so that you could actually change your sinkers and in comparison if you have a pyramid sinker like this well you won't be able to clip your bait but we'll we'll see that that's the the clip is very important but again like i mentioned we're, i'm going to show you how to make that clip down in the uh video okay so yeah uh word of note this cone sinkers you can see here they're shaped like bullets uh quite dangerous actually kind of scares me when i use it so yeah be very careful when you're using these now the second rig i'm going to show you is with an impact shield um pretty much this almost the same setup but i'm going to show you how it's rigged the impact shield is uh, the most reliable form of bait release that you can have now others kind of um snag you know from time to time they don't really work a hundred percent but the impact shield does and uh i'm gonna show you because it, it's really cool okay uh quite a difference of material we are going to be using yellow line for this so that it's visible okay again these are rigs i'm i'm really gonna use so um instead of just making for the video i am actually making things so that i could use them later on um as far as the the line is concerned you might be thinking that either it's too thick or it's too 
bright, you know, too visible and everything. Um, okay, a word of note here for the uh, pulley, pulley swivel. Okay, you could use that. You could use this, what I have, or you could just use a swivel. And it, it's really up to you. Um, how you could do just with the swivel is you put a bead, a swivel, and then another bead. And instead of that pulley bead, you could just use this and it'll work just as fine. Okay. And this works for the impact shield or the regular one without the impact shield. It's just that with the pulley bead, uh, you don't really need to put those beads, but I still choose to. And also, it doesn't fold your mono as much. Okay, but uh, the bead swivel bead combination actually works really well. Okay, so uh, just a word note before we actually proceed and talk about the rig with an impact shield. Okay, so uh, we're we're gonna build this rig. Okay. Now, if you guys don't notice, I'm actually uh, voice doing a voiceover because my mic kind of messed up, and I didn't want to refilm it. But I I messed up here. Okay, I messed up here, and uh, okay, so this is uh, the right arrangement right here. So I put two beads on. Okay, and I usually do the sinker side. So I'm gonna put a clip, and this is the order of putting them together so you have i actually I, I actually forgot to put a crimp on because you need a crimp okay so again uh before before that last bead we put on a crimp and that's very important for this so put the crimp on okay so putting us uh what do you call this a bead here just to make it look nice that last bead didn't didn't really uh, doesn't really serve a purpose but i'm putting it on anyway just to make it nice now um cutting the end of the mono to make it fit inside the sleeve or the crimp putting another bead that bead right there is actually very crucial okay that's very very important and then you put your impact shield so there's a, a slot there and it goes through the end and then after that you put your rubber sleeve and then that's when you put the clip so it's bead pulley bead a bead um crimp bead impact shield then rubber and then uh, we have the clip at the very end for this you can use uh ordinary sinkers pyramid sinkers like the ones that you have in the states or uh you know the uh the sinker that has those uh hooks doesn't matter up to you but this is another way for you to actually make use of the ordinary pyramid sinkers as well as those tear teardrop um sinkers okay so clip at the end enables you to actually just switch things now this is a very crucial step here and this is very important to make the uh, impact shield work for you. Now, take the uh, take everything. Okay, so you have your bead, pulley, swivel. Okay, you have another bead right here, and then you have the the sleeve okay and this is very important so first you uh, measure and then put the sleeve on now take take uh, particular attention to this little nib right here this little shaft because it's very delicate so when you put the uh, the rubber sleeve on be very very careful not to bend it okay 
it's soft plastic you give yourself about an inch some people like it all the way to the end that's fine too but i like mine uh with a bit of space okay now uh line everything up with the bead exactly uh, sitting exactly on top of the impact shield and that's very very important you take your crimper in this case i have a proper crimper you could you could use uh, round nose pliers you could use uh, wire crimpers whatever you have okay so position this i just want this perfect right here okay before i squeeze and crimp it you can see it's all aligned that's very very important in a straight line not curved or anything and uh, yeah that's it so this is how this thing works okay as soon as it hits the water the water tension actually pushes the uh, impact shield up onto the bead and the leader that's inside there actually ejects the hook it's pretty cool okay so here's here it is with the hook as soon as it hits the water you can see there it slides forward the line pushes the hook out very very important right there okay so uh, yeah that's your whole assembly now we just uh, adjust the length again one arm span for me it could be longer for you if you want depends on your preference okay cut that and then all that's needed to be done is uh, attach a swivel at the very end right there so again with an impact shield you can use ordinary sinkers okay so ordinary sinkers that have uh, an eye so it could be a bank sinker instead of a clip you could tie it onto a bank sinker instead of a snap you could directly tie it to the uh, pyramid sinker or the uh, pear-shaped sinker like from earlier with the swivel it's a bit more flexible with the uh, impact shield the problem is it's kind of too bulky so i really like the the sinkers for the bait clips just makes things easier for me but there we go as you can see very nice and tidy okay just like that uh, biggest again biggest advantage of the one with the, this rig with an impact shield is that it ejects your hook 100% at a time and that's very very important now remember when you're casting far distances you don't really see if it's released or not and sometimes you you kind of think like did it did i mess up or not so there we go so pyramid sinker onto that clip okay so you can see there um there's your swivel with the hook okay that's your pretty much your leader okay so like take for example if you have your hook there you know you're casting out and as soon as it lands in the water water hits the shield and the shield ejects the hook 100 percent of the time as you can see there boom all right and it's just because of this slot that slides against the bead uh, i'm gonna show you the action of this whole thing up close so you can see okay there we go all right so as the water hits the impact shield so it hits the surface it slides up and releases the hook just like that a hundred percent of the time okay and uh, that this is the whole reason why that bead is actually very important because it's the one that actually pushes the impact shield and the line inside to release the hook here we go actually very simple you could find it in amazon and uh, i'm pretty sure some tackle shops actually have it uh very very common in the uk you don't have to use a clip by the way you could just tie it off to your um, sinker so instead of leaving uh, like a, an inch there you could actually leave a, a, a good length that's how the whole thing looks like right there i'm not gonna put a hook on this 
but definitely one of those that I will be using when I go fishing next time. If you don't have access to Impact Shield, I'm going to show you how you can still utilize. And let's make a clip. Okay, so what you'll need is uh, some wire. This is just ordinary stainless steel wire from uh, TIG welding um, wire, actually. You'll need uh, a pair of pliers or round nose pliers or uh, wire forming or the eye forming tool as you can see here so you keep everything straight okay but now you you actually just uh make a loop and this okay so make a loop this is actually quite simple anyone can do this don't don't make this out of galvanized wire even if you know you have it uh stainless steel wire may lean or whatnot Okay, so there we go. You can see bent on the wire just like that, a loop. Okay, let's zoom in so that you can see clearly. Uh, there we go. Okay, so just a loop at the very end. Get your, your pliers, keep everything straight, bend it a bit. If uh, it's not straight, it's just I'm using the back here just to put a, a, a more squeeze okay put more squeeze on that to close it up and then what you could do or there you go you ensure now what i'm doing here i uh, might not see it is i'm bending it back so it's much, uh, a bit more aligned and then i am closing the eye a bit more as you can see there so there's no gaps and no way for the mono to actually slip this is hardly a professional job guys but i'm showing you exactly how easy it is okay so here we go by the way uh, as far as the length is concerned make the length uh comfortable for you to work with i'm used to working with long wires uh short pieces of wire at this point in time so kind of short okay so um we make another bend here just like this okay again try to keep everything straight um, sorry to go out of the camera, but yeah, there we go. So you can see that and I will squeeze it a little bit with the pliers just so that it's uh, bent a bit more towards the inside like that. And then, um, yeah, just make a bend, a, another bend like so towards the end. So you can see there. Okay. Now, um, bend it even more. Okay. okay. Try to keep it as uh, perfectly straight as possible here. This is very crucial. You don't want it to actually turn around or squiggle around because what you want to do is actually have everything straight so that when it, when, um, it hits the water, it actually releases and not um, snag your hook there we go so as you can see there bent it and then we're we're gonna bend it even more just to form a small hook at the very end like so okay there we go and then all you have to do is actually just cut the end and it'll give you a hook just like that all right so here's your pyramid sinker you just clip it on and then you have that hook right there so that you could attach your hook there we go so as you can see bang works the same way as uh, the uh, the sinkers with the uh, hooks on so it's this easy um even with ordinary ones uh yeah i used to actually make these a lot again for any type of sinker that doesn't have the bait clip it works pyramids pear shapes all that uh even with the ones with the hooks if you just want uh you know 
like a, a clip that you could use very easy to go in and out of the clip very easy to make okay so you could attach the all the sinkers but anyway so yeah that's it guys um thank you very much it's a uh, kind of a lengthy video and uh yeah i mean usually not something like this when we have to voice over but i really hope that you've learned something with this and that um yeah it's something that you could use all right so uh yeah uh, again if you haven't subscribed please subscribe uh consider subscribing there's a lot of videos like this uh and different types of fishing in the channel if you like the video give it a thumbs up and uh yeah class is missed thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next one